everyone and welcome to a very exciting week with me. We're going to Ashland, Oregon. If you remember actually a couple years ago, we stayed there on the way back from California for one night. We literally had, literally, we literally had an evening. That's it. And then we got up and left. So I feel like, oh, I sprayed myself and my mascara ran. I feel like I needed more because I knew that Ashland would be a place that I would want to spend some more time in. It is the cutest little Pacific Northwest town, if you've never been. It's known for like its Shakespeare festival. Their uh, Shakespeare festival, people come from all over. But anyway, so we're gonna hit Ashland, but first we're gonna go see family for Thanksgiving, which I'm also very excited about because I have like new loungewear. I get to hang out with Marcy and Larry, who's my husband's dad and wife. And we do this every year. We go hang out, we have Thanksgiving parade on, we feast, <laughs> we walk the dogs. We really just watch movies and chill and it's perfect. And I brought um, an NA whiskey. So we're gonna do like a non-alcoholic eggnog which I also look forward to because I only have it this time of year, so I haven't had any since last year. Um, I think Ashland is doing their Christmas tree lighting. We might be at the spa during that. There's a little Japanese tea room and spa that's called Chozu Tea Gardens, and we've booked a point, uh, an appointment to have a private soaking session. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Anyway, mugs for sale everybody yes i'm gonna keep doing that because people just like don't pay attention when you talk about stuff yay welcome to a festive week we're doing some christmas shopping it's gonna be so fun we're already on the road we've got two little buckled in shishus original and a peace tea never heard of it natural flavored peach tea but i'm wearing the barrel jeans with this and my vintage Gucci belt that I haven't worn in forever and I just thought I needed to give it a moment. And then the new glasses. We have hit so much holiday traffic that this drive is taking us seven and a half hours. I've got a headache. I'm so sick of being in the car. My head hurts. Oh, we didn't ever have it be, it's never been this bad. We've done this every year and it's never been this bad. Look how pretty the sunset through the trees. Isn't that gorgeous? Hey girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She says, I'm a very good girl. Mm -hmm. I was trying to show you guys my new PJs because I got these at Nordstrom right before we came. I know I had some free people cuffies that I was gonna wear for this trip, but I actually am gonna wear those like all day on Thanksgiving. And I was like, I still need something cozy for bed. <laughs> And so I bought these, and these are also free people. The bottom, they're like bell. Oh my God, they're so cute. The actual most comfortable pajamas I've ever owned in my entire life. And they're like go really long in the back. I realize like, I think free people is my favorite brand because I just, everything is so, cozy but it still looks really um relaxed i just if i say the word boho one more time but look 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 you guys know how much i've been looking forward to it look at these christmas vintage mugs um, they're so cute so this is that liar's whiskey eggnog and pumpkin spice we're not gonna hang out out here we're gonna go out there <laughs> so cheers to you and happy beginning of festive holiday season. It's just getting started, baby. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Thanksgiving. Yet another free people outfit. I think I'm just going to live in free people for the foreseeable. When I start to buy like new, new clothes, if I don't thrift, I'm just gonna shop free people because I absolutely love 
their clothes. <laughs> Well, we've got a brisk cold morning at House Sutton and I am setting up the tripod so that we can do our annual Thanksgiving family photo. We always kind of change it up each year as to the location of where we all stand. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what today's will be, but it's been a great trip and we're heading to Ashland. We are about 20 minutes out, but we had a pee request, so we stopped and grabbing some refreshments and then we can go see our hotel. And this is right in downtown, so this should be walking distance to everything. Get the toilet paper bow. I needed documentation before I ruin it. We have made it to our room and oh my god, it's like they know me. They've put on ambient YouTube. Look at how lovely. I mean, I booked it because of this wallpaper. This is honestly the reason why I wanted this particular one, but they're kind of set up like individual houses in this whole little like boutique hotel it's all these little individual houses there's another one out back and below i believe you really feel separate and like you're in your own little home which i really really like and it's very pet friendly there's a little courtyard yeah this the the detail to this is just very thoughtful and um i just love it you've got to have a full length mirror you'd be surprised how many places don't have full length and now you can see my full outfit <laughs> I want it to look like a Christmas tree for the Christmas tree lighting that we're going to hopefully catch tonight, but we will be at the spa and it's possible we'll miss that part. I'm not really sure. Here's the bathroom. We've got little makeup uh, whatnots. And then there's a little walk-in shower. Oh, wow. It's a double, oh my God. The shower is on another level. Oh. And look at that side. <laughs> we can take a shower together. <laughs> is that a temperature gauge? Yeah. Little welcome note here. This is your own little front porch that leads out to the main street. And then if you take a right, that will take you downtown. This is walking into downtown from our hotel, which is a block that way. Wonder what that's called. What's this? Antiques? Yeah, they look like they've been doing some updates to that little house. I love this porch. See, if you come, if you come and knew that the wellness center was next door, you can book in a wellness service. We've got the hair lounge. Nice, that place is lovely. Look at their mailbox. How do we get that? We are walking to the spa and both of us are freaking out 
about the dogs being there by themselves. Oh dear. in from pine and vine wood fired this is what we do best good morning oh my gosh it's so frosty out there's literally just white water on everything <laughs> and um, it looks so festive but it's also freezing so we went for that little walk and got that pizza it was so good and we but then we got cold again so then we hopped in the showers and it just felt good to rinse back off and just stand in the heat and those showers are so amazing you can adjust the temperature of the heat of your shower I've never seen a shower like this before where you have so much control over what it does but anyway what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pamper myself a little bit I want to do the Dior eye patches I've saved these for a special thing they have little Dior logos I've only done this one other time I think and I really want to put that on and take a fun photo out on this porch it's gonna be so cold but I'm wearing my free people PJs and I just think a little frosty sitting out front photo on the porch with my coffee and my eye patches could be a cool picture. and I thought we would do it together. I have already put on my base, my face, and my brows, and now we're gonna do the fun part together because I have a new palette and a new bronzer and blush. So here it is, the little tart, juicy palette I got in my Ipsy with Lisa Vanderpump. Now I'm going in with Euphoric, which is that dark brown. And then Shine, which is this really pretty, super like deep gold. And then Reflect, which is a bright champagne. The husband's calling, I wonder if he's done. Nice, how'd it go? It's like 2.30 and the sun has set behind the mountains. <laughs> no, it's three o'clock. The sun should fully set by 4.30, 4-ish, so. Gosh, where did the day go? Okay, we're gonna go into this palette. I just did the bronzer. And I'm highlighting with this beautiful highlight. So I guess where he went golfing in Medford had a rolling fog and it's called something like the insurgents or something like that. And it's when the fog, it's, it's like a crazy fog that comes in and it, it's there all day just resting on the city. And we noticed it coming in yesterday, it was so foggy that you couldn't see anything. And as soon as you got like over the hills and into Ashland, it cleared up and he was like, what's the weather like there? And I said, it's sunny and 50, 54. 
and he was like, it's like in the 30s and completely like you can't see in the clouds. And I'm like, that's so weird. <laughs> and I took the black in Man Eater palette. I took that black and made a soft eyeliner. And I always do that when I want my lashes to last. Like I still wanna have my lashes on. Um, so when I go to wash them at night, I can easily get eyeshadow off, but liquid liner is a little bit more of a struggle. So that's when I'll do an eyeshadow as my liner instead. Literally just take like a wet Q-tip and it comes right off. Jacob's over the knee boots. And this is the outfit. Here, this is better lighting. I also wanted to show you guys the new jacket since I haven't really gotten to wear this. And I'm gonna wear the tan Ghani. The blue Ghani one that I got is like definitely for snow. It's so thick and bulky that I almost don't think I would ever really wear it unless it was legit snowing outside. <laughs> Just something about it. But this one I love because it's thin and it fits me perfectly and I wear it all the time. It's like my favorite hat. And then I have these plaid, um, where are these from? Eddie Bauer gloves in case I need to cover up my hands a little bit. This jacket is a little small. I'm like, I don't remember that, but I think I got it for a really good deal and I just felt like I had to have it. I, mean, I can definitely button it and wear it. It's just so, it's so fitted. <laughs> like, I can wear it and I can tie it. I need to find a winter coat that fits me a little bit better than this. So guess what that means? We're thrifting for a jacket either now, right now, or when we get back because I'm gonna always be on the hunt for the perfect pea coat to go with dresses like this. <sighs> it's never ending. Shoot, I have to go thrifting again. <laughs> my thing blurry. It's a cheesecake company, dude. Do you want to go in? We wanted one. one. We'd have to carry it this whole time. Yeah. I love your outfit. She's so pretty. Dude, I, I really think wanted, it gorgeous? If I really wanted a cheesecake, here's what I'm saying. <gasps> Let's go get some oil.
Father Charles? Usually, we've come here in the summertime, and this whole section is really active. And that's where the little waterfront is. The creek. How's your kava kava? Nice. We had to stop again at the mix because that lemon meringue I've been thinking about ever since. And then he got carrot in there. No, sir, I don't think so. You're having your dinner getting prepared. Speaking of dinner, I got the halibut and it was so freaking good. Oh my God. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> and then I got a thrifty thing from Dynasty Vintage, an Oracle room. We also went to the Paddington, and then we also went into the Sexy Shop and got some oil for massage. Keep your heads out of the gutter. <laughs> massage oil. I didn't see, you can see it way better in this lighting. The Paddington got some ornaments, some gifty ornaments for other people just to put on their gifts and what else did I get? Oh my god, I blacked out. I don't remember what I got. I was in like shopping mode. Lyle said that when I was in the vintage store that he looked across the store at me and my eyes were like this. <laughs> Going through the racks. The, this thrift store is the best vintage store I've ever been to. It had so much stuff. And it had a section for vintage plus size, which would be normal people size. But because vintage clothes is like a size zero, you can go over there and find normal sizes. So I was able to find something that I can actually fit on that rack. I'll have to show it to you some other time. Right now we have to change and get ready because we did make a reservation to go back to Tozu for yet another round of soaking. And guess who didn't go? <laughs> We're watching Christmas movies instead and gonna have our dessert and hang out here. He's in the shower because his bones are cold from the golf course. He couldn't, he actually was saying like the whole time we were walking around and it, when it went really dark and got icy out, like cold out, he was like, I, I have to get somewhere where I can like get hot and warm and so luckily that restaurant we went to was so it was hot in there like it was hot you can wear a spaghetti strap dress there and be comfortable so it was perfect that place was perfect and we actually sat at the bar we, we like sitting at the bar it's so funny that we do because obviously you know we don't drink anymore but the bar is where we always used to sit so it's just old habits and being a bartender for so long, I just feel more comfortable at the bar. <laughs> and I like to talk to the bartender. I like to have almost like a third person with us. Um, but yeah, it's hard to concentrate with a naked man. <laughs> Hopefully there's no reflection in this mirror in my glasses. You don't look naked when you're naked anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we decided not to go, so. Oh well, we got to experience the tea gardens. We got enough. We just kinda got worn out. Yeah, that too. Golfing been... and then tense and shivering for three hours. I'm like, mm, I'm ready to go lay down. Yeah. Even though that would probably have benefited me more than that hot shower to sit, but. Yeah. It's fine. I couldn't look the dogs in the eye and leave them again. God forbid we leave and try to go do something <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> but I have my kava. I don't feel like my kava really did anything. Am I becoming immune? 
Yeah, but the last time we got it, that shit like knocked it. I felt it. It buzzed me up. This didn't like, and when I say buzz, I mean relax. Like it just made me feel so relaxed. And maybe I was just already feeling relaxed. Maybe I am relaxed. I mean, I am, but not like the kava relax. There's a different feeling with that. It's just this like feeling that comes over you where you're just like, ah, oh, it's amazing. If you get the real deal. That place is great and we love the staff. They're always like, what kind of milk do you want? And you have to specify like cow or oat or soy. <laughs> What other kinds of milk is there? Um, <laughs> you have to specify your almonds. Like hemp milk, I guess. Hemp? hemp? Well, our stay at the Swank House in Ashland has officially come to an end. This has really felt like a little home. It has felt like a little house in our own little part of town right next to downtown it just felt like home so this place is a hundred percent where we will stay every time we come to ashland it's so good and i really want to see what the other ones look like so we'll just book a different one each time because there's so many this is the outfit i'm doing jean on jean with that iro shirt jeans yeah a little lace under shirt for an extra layer but a cool layer in case i need to open it up and have a breeze you can see my tattoo through it too which is kind of fun but yeah that's the outfit of the day we are going to leave cars loaded up we're heading to medford my husband's getting tattooed <laughs> so i'll see you there the fog out here is on another level though like you are in this most dense Fog, it's so wild. Actually, even yesterday, when I was driving earlier than this, it wasn't as frosty. Really? Well, then really be careful of the black ice. This is downtown Medford. It's actually really cute. The Rocky Tonk. <clears throat> Adorbs. Look. I didn't think it was going to be this cute, Bob. The parking spot. So this is the tattoo shop that we stopped off in Medford. My uh, husband went at the convention, got tattooed by a fella that works here, and he didn't. He said there were things that he wanted to add to the tattoo that were kind of bothering him. He's like, I really wanted to do like a tassel. It's a kitsune, like where they look like foxes, but it's like a kitsune mask, and he wanted to do some stuff behind it. So um, he said, if you're ever in the area, pop in for like an hour so I can finish it. <laughs> and uh, we just happen to be in the area. So he's just getting that fixed real quick. And um, yeah, Medford's really cute. I don't think we'll be able to really explore it because he's going to get this tattoo. And then we're basically going to head to our next destination. And I don't want to say where it is just yet because I want to kind of just like, introduce it in the next video which will be vlogmas number two so i kind of want to save it um is this a vlog does this count as vlogmas going up december in the beginning of yeah yeah it does so this is a vlogmas i'm making right now i didn't even think about that well how festive and christmasy <laughs> but medford's cute i i thought the downtown it's a it's an area i if i was staying would definitely want to walk and explore the shops but it kind of has some some towns are thriving with people especially during christmas christmas lights are up they don't have their christmas lights up here um so maybe they will soon get some on the trees downtown but um it's you know not as thriving as ashland ashland is just shops and people and shopping and food and coffee and it's like that from what i've seen year round because we've been there in the summer and we've been here now in the uh late autumn so i'd imagine it stays that way so yeah <laughs> but where we're going next i just confirmed because i went in to get i wanted to get something for marvin because he's such a stress case I got him this calming spray and it apparently has dog pheromone in it and you spray it not on them but around their like kennels, their leashes, um, when you have like another dog being introduced to the room and you want them to be calm. 
um, trips, vacations, whatever. You could go into a hotel room and spray a little bit on the, sh you know, the, the couch or the bedding. It's doesn't, it's invisible. And it has a pheromone that's familiar to what their mothers would do when they would lick them to get them to calm down the puppies. So it has a really calming effect. And I just sprayed the blanket that they're on back there. Marvin seems to be... <laughs> I mean, they were already like this though. They're just hanging out because they're used to being on the road at this point. So we got that and then we also got this full spectrum hemp oil with CBD and we're gonna start Marvin on this. We're just gonna have him take that every day because he's just a very anxious dog. Um, so I think that will really help him kind of relax a little bit because I want him to have a long, healthy life. And I feel like if he's a stress case, um, I just don't want it to like affect him and his health. So we got that and then I also got them some ducky twee twees. Maybe I'll give them one more a little twaining twee twee because they're being so good. Gonna have that? Good boy. Come get it teeny tiny. You gotta grab it. Mama can't reach. <sighs> I think that's it. Honestly because from here on I'm just going to be editing and then we start the second leg of the trip and tonight is going to be so good. Another reason why I wanted to get him calming treats because he is going to be included in what we're doing this evening. He should be able to come. They, both of them, but like I'm worried about him. She's easy. He's the difficult one. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we can get them to stay calm so that we can go do something really fun. And you're just going to have to stay tuned for the next video to see the festivities we shall get into and commence and close out this fun vacation. We've had such a good time. I hope you enjoyed watching and, um, you know, got a little taste of what Ashland is all about in Oregon in general. We love Oregon. We've talked about retiring in Oregon. Um, so it's just a great state. We love it so much. Our, our family is in Oregon, so it's just a wonderful area. But um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video with me this week. Please do subscribe if you're not and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below anything fun that you're doing for the holidays and I will see you guys on the next Vlogmas. Bye!